Moving on, update on the uh, so-called fiscal cliff, the chances of a grand bargain, the uh, whatever you want to call it, the fiscal slope, the austerity bond, everybody's got a different name for this. But the important thing is uh, how the Republicans are uh, feeling these days. And one of the, uh, the factors that is playing in this, um, this little dance that we're seeing uh, comes out in a Pew poll on the fiscal cliff attitudes of the population from November 29th to December 2nd. Poll question, how well do you feel you understand what would happen if these automatic spending cuts and tax increases were to go in effect in January? 28% fairly well, uh, very well. 28%, uh, 29% fairly well. 22% not too well. 19% not too well at all. Now, as I was going to uh, this talk, I was going to talk a little bit about the election, and about the fiscal cliff, and I was having a conversation with a uh, buddy of mine who I got to, to, to give me a ride, uh, basically because I needed to write the speech. And um, we were talking about the fiscal cliff. And I said, you realize that all of the things that we are afraid of or that supposedly people are afraid of with the so-called fiscal cliff will function to shrink the deficit. Now, you know, I, I, I spend my time immersed in this stuff. I spend my time talking to people who are immersed in this stuff. To the extent that I get uh, feedback from you, the audience, it is people who are very well immersed in this, this debate. But most people out there think that the reason why our economy crashed is because, because of our debt and deficit, and that... The fiscal cliff in somehow is tied into this notion. You know, I've said this many times before. You probably all have heard this, but I want to emphasize it because it, it, when I brought this up at this, uh, uh, this speech I gave up in Massachusetts, I, I think half the room were, were completely shocked. But the, the fact is, is that just about everything that we're talking about, increased taxes, the ending of unemployment benefits or extended unemployment benefits, the ending of the Social Security tax uh, holiday, the, um, the automatic cuts that will take place as a function of that debt ceiling deal from a year and a half ago, all of these things will do one thing, and that will shrink the deficit. And the reason why economists and everyone is uh, biting their nails about this to the extent that they are, it's because these people know that if you shrink a deficit at a time of weak economic growth, in other words, if you impose austerity, it will hurt the economy. And... and when you lay it out to people, like, you know, we have more taxes, we have more revenue coming in, we cut spending, at least in the short term, it's going to uh, decrease the deficit. And then ultimately, as the economy sputters, the deficit then would grow again because revenues would drop because the economy is going bad. Uh, people are paying less taxes because they're uh, making less money. But initially, it's going to shrink the deficit. Well, people understand math. It's just that it's never laid out for them in that very simple and obvious way. And so I, I, I would even guess that those people who think that they very well or fairly well know what the implications of the fiscal cliff, I would say at least half of them are wrong. They don't know. <laughs> 